Did any of you ask for a folding phone? Did any of you want a folding phone? Were any of you genuinely hoping that Huawei or Samsung or HTC were going to come along at the moment that Apple decided that we're going to have a phone that costs $1,000 that somebody else is going to come along and just say, $1,000, hold my beer. We're going to make a $2,000 phone that has virtually no innovation other than having another screen that you're probably not going to use. You could buy a flagship tablet and a flagship smartphone for less money than the cost of a Samsung folding phone. Nobody wanted a folding phone. Nobody cared about a folding phone. And certainly there were not people saying, wow, you mean that there's virtually no innovation and it's going to cost twice what I paid for my last one? Damn, let me run out and get that. I think they're all running out of ideas. I think they've been running out of ideas for a long time. You know, why, why make a user-replaceable battery in the phone? Why go back to making the active editions that are more durable so people have an option? Why give people options as to whether they want a large screen that is going to strain their thumb while they're going to touch the other side versus a small screen? Why give people options? Why bother about in it with innovation when you can just make a thinner, tinier bezel? More expensive, bigger screen. Thinner, tinier bezel. More expensive, bigger screen. Thinner, tinier bezel. More expensive, bigger screen. Thinner, tinier bezel. More expensive, bigger screen. Thinner, tinier bezel, 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 more expensive. Bigger screen. And I honestly, I can't uh, take seriously the people that come their pants over new phone releases seriously either. Whether it's the end users or the tech reviewers that make it sound like this shit is actually important. Is there really anything about the Samsung S10 that just, you have to have it because the S9 didn't have it and this just changes your life experience? Is there anything about the iPhone 8 that just absolutely blows you away that wasn't on the iPhone 7? Bigger screen. Notches. Hole punches. Curved corners. Bigger screen. Smaller bezel. More expensive. Smaller bezel. Comfortable. Bigger screen. Bigger screen. Not drinking too much. I want the phone to be so fucking big someday that even with two hands, I can't use it. That's my dream. Because it got to the point where with one hand, I can't reach the other side of the phone. I want it to be so big that even if I have one hand over here and the other over here, that I still can't use this shit because my th together my thumbs can't make it to the middle of the screen. That's my goal. And I want that phone to be $5,000. And have no headphone jack. And no audio output. And no battery. I really hope Sony comes back with the smaller Xperia line. I'm disappointed that they went with the shitty aspect ratio, but they're the only ones left that make a phone that's five inches. Nobody's left making phones that are reasonably sized. For people like me that have Trump hands, we're just... Nobody cares about the people who are suffering from Trump hand syndrome. Nobody cares. I miss my Samsung Galaxy S5 OK screen size and replaceable battery. Me too. You know, there's just not much to convince me to get a new phone. I have this LG G7, and the only reason I got this is because I destroyed my S7 after two years of abusing the hell out of it and, and servicing it myself poorly. Uh, it it, it kind of died. Uh, so I got this because... I, the only reason I got this is because I got this for 260 bucks on eBay. That's as much as I'm willing to spend on any of these new smartphones, given there's no innovation. But look at this thing. I'm holding it in my hand. Now, granted, I'm five foot six. I'm like, look at this. What, what am I... I'm holding the phone in my hand. That's little Blackberry. Look at my thumb. It's like... I, I can't stretch all the way up there. It's impossible. How the hell do you... Now, let's say I move the phone up here. All right? Now, even up here, it's uncomfortable to get my thumb over there. But once I can get my thumb over there, how am I going to touch something down there? It's like, it's miserable. So I got this little... This, um, this freedom, freedom thing on the back, which gives me more freedom. See? Freedom. And... When, uh, so at least I can do this. I can kind of curve the phone, and then I do this. And then I can hit the top. But this is not very accurate. And then I also have to curve my hand to go down there. And the fucked up thing is that like, every phone is this size now. It's, you can get, this is the normal size. So this used to be the plus size of the phone. This is a G7 here. Now LG makes a bi they make another phone, but it's bigger than this. This, this, is, this is what they consider the small option. Every company is doing this. Now, Sony has an Xperia uh, Z. I think it's one of the... They make a small one that's about five inches or so, but they have not officially announced or released the new version of that yet. That phone's about a year and a half old. Samsung is still making phones that are like huge. Uh, all of Huawei's huge. Xiaomi, Xiaomi phones are all this huge. 
the one company that has a phone that's consistently produced that actually fits my hand is Apple. Apple is the only one filling that consumer demand. And again, this is one of those things I used to talk about when I'm uh, trying to express the positives of Apple is that in some small sense, you may not like Apple, but at least they attempt to have taste. At least they try to put five seconds into thinking about what the user will experience when they sit down with their product. They may not think about whether it will last longer than a year. They may not think about whether it's affordable. They may not think about performance and benchmarks and all that, but they just think when the user sits down with our product, what's it like? And Apple, for all the shit they get, they release a big phone, but they also release a normal phone for people who are normal humans that don't take growth hormone that want to be able to touch every section of the screen without doing this. Because I'm telling you, someday, two years from now, we're going to have a phone where when I'm holding it like this, neither of my thumbs will be able to make it to the middle of the screen. Because look at this. We're very close to that point already. Without hyperextending my thumbs, we're very close to the point where two fingers is not going to work. I don't plan on getting surgery to make get my fingers extended or anything because of these, these stupid trends. I think it's really nice that Apple has decided to keep putting out a phone that actually fits into the hands of people that are not seven foot tall. And I, I don't want to always use both hands. Like, what, I, I use my phone with one hand very often. I don't want to do this. What if I'm carrying a grocery bag? Uh, what if I have something in my hand? What if I'm, you know, what if I'm just watching porn and I need to use this hand for something else? Like, you didn't think of all these things. You should have thought of all those things. User experience. Ask Pornhub.com for their mobile analytics. There's a lot of people that need to use their hand for something else while they're, while they're holding their phone. Good reasons.